An update this midday on that standoff in Butler County. A man barricaded himself inside his Douglas home with a gun. Kink Jordan Shefty has been tracking this story this morning. She's here now to explain how the standoff finally wrapped up. Jordan. Yeah, Jamel, that standoff lasted for more than two hours. Gunshots occasionally fired throughout, but the Butler County Sheriff says the standoff had pretty much the best possible outcome. Sheriff's deputies in Butler County forced outside into the bitter cold of Monday night. Around 7 p.m., dispatch received a call from a man saying his friend was firing a gun inside his own home. He was concerned. He said that he had been uh, drinking alcohol all afternoon, that he had quit his job, uh, his wife and child had left him and was just concerned that we needed to uh, try to make contact with him. Once on scene, deputies set up a perimeter and started communications with that barricaded suspect. He did talk. While they were talking, he discharged a firearm three more times in the home. And then he got to the point where he was agitated and he quit talking. That's when the SWAT team was brought in. Sheriff Herzett said the department has dealt with this individual several times in the past and therefore knew to be cautious because of the high amount of guns in the home. But he assured us that uh, he wasn't going to harm us or hurt himself and, and that he would come out. And sure enough, nearly two and a half hours after the ordeal began, the man came out with his hands up and was taken into custody. We only wanted to protect this man as well as the people that live here in Douglas. Tonight's outcome was a good outcome. Good indeed. So glad everyone involved is okay. Now it is illegal for firearms to be discharged within city limits, so there is the possibility the man could be charged on that. But right now they are just focused on getting him help and making sure his neighbors and those who live in Douglas are safe. Jamel.